Hey there, I'm Dr. Ron Wilson. At Wilson Orthodontics, we've helped people just like you get that perfect, healthy smile they've always dreamed of. Our talented team is the best around, and they treat all our patients like they're part of the family. Children and adults love our exciting game room. Ride in style in our H2 Hummer Brace Bus. Surf the web in our state-of-the-art internet cafe. And now, we have our very own charity spa. Call us today to schedule your free consultation, and we look forward to seeing you here soon. With this Access News break, I'm B.J. Williams. A Gainesville man is in custody in connection with this past Friday's murder of an employee at Carriage Mitsubishi on Brownsbridge Road on the west side of the city. Police Corporal Kevin Holbrook says 21-year-old Mark Antonio Taylor II was arrested Sunday morning at an apartment on the south side of Atlanta. Taylor faces murder and other charges in connection with the shooting death of Charles Weaver. Weaver was found shot to death by another employee just before or eight Friday morning. Two brothers from Swanee who disappeared with their father last week are home now after being found in Austin, Texas. Ben and Henry Cleary, ages nine and seven, were found in a motel and both are fine. A citizen recognized the boys and their dad after hearing about them on an Amber Alert. The father, Daniel Cleary from Roswell, was taken into custody and will be extradited to Georgia. Police say he failed to return the boys to their mother after a scheduled visit last week. Week. Area law enforcement gearing up for a busy New Year's Eve. The state patrol says troopers will be out in force cracking down on those drivers who are operating vehicles under the influence. They say more than 260 DUI arrests were made last New Year's Eve in Georgia. And Gwinnett County Police have joined other agencies in a call for people to refrain from using celebratory gunfire as a way to welcome the new year. Corporal Jake Smith says they often get so many calls about gunfire on New Year's Eve, they can't handle all of them. He says responsible gun owners know it's not safe to randomly fire weapons on New Year's Eve or at any other time. With this Access News break, I'm B.J. Williams.